Hi, let's talk about the solubility of different molecules together and intermolecular forces is going to be able to help us rank the strength or the ability of um, two molecules to dissolve in one another. Um, you've maybe heard this, or we're talking about solubility, like dissolves like. So if I'm using an oil-based paint, oh man, that stinks to high heaven. Let's say for some insane reason, I use oil-based paint in my house. It's going to take months for that smell to clear. I paint, I end up with that oil-based paint, okay? Oil-based paint, that's going to be non-polar on my hands. I can wash that with soap and water as long as I want. That paint will not come off. I'm going to have to get something like turpentine, gasoline, something that's non-polar to wash that off. Now, if I use water-based paint, um, I paint, oh, and within a day, the smell clears out. Um, I have some paint on my hands, water-based paint. I go to the sink, soap and water, man, it comes right off. Like dissolves like. Um, I remember once going to sleep with gum, woke up in the morning, I was probably seven years old, had gum stuck in my hair, and my mom took peanut butter because um, gum doesn't dissolve in your mouth. It's non-polar. Um, our mouth has all that water polar. Um, so to dissolve it, she had to take peanut butter that has a lot of fat, a lot of oil in it. She rubbed it in and it dissolved the gum. So if you have a child one day with gum in their hair, if you don't want to cut the, um, cut the gum out, use some peanut butter. Okay, like dissolves like. Really what this means, it is that the more similar the intermolecular forces between the molecules, the greater the solubility, um, the more that they will dissolve. Now you will be asked to um, rank solubility, which one will dissolve the most, um, which one is most likely to be soluble um, with another molecule. You will never ever write in an essay like dissolves like. It will not be accepted. This right here, this is what will be accepted, that the more similar the intermolecular forces, the more likely um, that they will dissolve, the greater the solubility. So I've written a list of six examples up here. The first thing that you have to do is identify the intermolecular forces in each molecule. And then you just find the overlap. Where is there similarity between those inter intermolecular forces? So water, oops, we know that water has um, hydrogen bonding, and I'm going to use some little shorthand here, HP for hydrogen bonding has dipole-dipole and London dispersion forces. Ammonia, uh, remember hydrogen bonding is fond, fluorine, oxygen, nitrogen. It also has hydrogen bonding, dipole-dipole, London dispersion forces. So I would say great solubility. These two are going to completely dissolve in one another, and they do. Now, we're going to take water with this C2MO. This is an aldehyde. I'm going to have a double-bonded oxygen with hydrogen. That's what the Lewis dot structure looks like. Now, if you don't know, if you can't picture the Lewis dot structure, draw it. It's looking at the Lewis dot structure that you'll be able to identify the Lewis or the intermolecular forces. So no hydrogen bonding here. That oxygen is not directly bonded to a hydrogen. So this only has dipole, dipole and London dispersion forces. Again, water has hydrogen bonding, dipole, dipole, London dispersion forces. So where are the similarities? Remember, the more similar the IMF, the greater the solubility. Well, it's the dipole-dipole London dispersion. Even though this does not have hydrogen bonding, it does have dipole-dipole London dispersion between the two of them. So this would be soluble. Um, this would dissolve. Now, will it dissolve as well as ammonia? No, because it doesn't have hydrogen bonding. But will it dissolve? Yes, because there's similarities where the partial positive and negatives can interact um, and attract one to another, and that's intermolecular forces. Okay, this one. So bromine, very, very nonpolar. It only has London dispersion forces. Water has hydrogen bonding, dipole-dipole, and London dispersion forces. So where are the similarities? It's only in the LDF. Now, if I had to rank these three for solubility, undoubtedly the greatest solubility is the water and ammonia because they both have hydrogen bonding, dipole, dipole, London dispersion. Next would be my water with this aldehyde because it has dipole, dipole, and London dispersion similarity. And then the least soluble combination would be the water with that bromine. This would have to be a dipole induced dipole. This would have, the water would create a dipole. And so it's not going to dissolve as much of that bromine. Okay, so there's one set of examples. Doing some more comparison. Um, so here I have my aldehyde again. It's this molecule right here. And we know that it has dipole-dipole London dispersion forces. 
Now HCl, this is not hydrogen bonding because chlorine is not a part of FON, fluorine, oxygen, nitrogen with hydrogen. So this only has dipole, dipole, and dispersion forces. I know it's polar because chlorine is much more electronegative. Ah, look, completely similar. So great solubility, great solubility. Now here, if I take that aldehyde, dipole, dipole, London dispersion forces, and the bromine only has London dispersion forces. So yeah, I have this similarity right here. Um, so it will dissolve a little bit, but not a lot. So the solubility definitely decreases right here. Now, look at this. I've got bromine, that's very nonpolar, LDF, and methane. So methane, you know, looks like this. For all intent and purpose, we say that the bond between the carbon and the hydrogen is nonpolar. All of those substituents are identical. That is a nonpolar molecule. So I have LDF, LDF. That has great solubility because it has identical intermolecular forces. Um, so this set would be highly soluble. This set would be highly soluble because they have identical London dispersion forces. This would have a decrease in solubility because the bromine doesn't have dipole dipole like the formaldehyde. Um, so takeaways and steps to do this. Draw the Lewis dot structure if you need to. Otherwise you picture that Lewis dot structure and identify every intermolecular force. Uh, then you put the mixture together and identify where are the similar intermolecular forces. The more similar the intermolecular forces, the greater the solubility. And there you have it. Okay, good work. Like dissolves like, keep that in your mind, but don't write it on a test. You write the more similar the IMF, the greater the solubility. Thanks, have a good day.